John, Jay, nice to see you again. Yeah, great to see you. Thanks it's, for coming today. Oh man, it's, it's awesome. Uh, what a beautiful facility. Thank it's, you. It's, it's great. And so, well, welcome everyone. I am Jake Hall, the Manufacturing Millennial. I am here sitting next to the president here of the U.S. for ABB Robotics, John Bub Nikovich. Uh, you've had a incredible career so far. You've had a lot of experience working through different robot manufacturers, working through systems integration and end users. You were even in the, the venture capital and the equity space for a bit. You know, before we go into what the future looks like, I want to step back. How did you get involved in this industry? Like what, what drove you to being a part of robotics? Yeah, great question. So I've always been a big technology buff and started my career in industrial autom automation for a company called Desteco. Yeah. And at that point, what Desteco was doing was a lot of end of arm tooling and work holding devices. Then from there, I had the opportunity to come to ABB from 2011 through 2018, spent time at ABB, ran sales and marketing here for the region. Uh, after that, I did a couple private equity stints and then came back to ABB in November of 22. So just, uh, just over two years back at ABB and I'm really excited to be back and, and love the industry. I mean, exciting to be in this industry yeah. with all that's going on. I couldn't pick another place to be. And the industry's changing a lot, and, and ABB is ABB's changing along with it, right? You have a beautiful expansion, right? 30% expansion that you guys just rolled out not even a year ago from yeah. when I was filming today, and right now we're in the Customer Experience Center, just a beautiful floor showcasing all your different robots and applications, and really, robotics is, is the future in, in many ways. And so the first question I have for you is when we look at the vision of robotics, where do you see robotics taking place and going into the future of new industries, new applications, new topics, and then how is ABB being a part of that? Yeah, great question. Well, it used to be robotics was something that used to increase your productivity or use robots in dull, dirty, and dangerous yeah. environments. And certainly those opportunities for robotics are still there. Uh, but now it's even more where robotics can take the place of or can substitute for critical labor shortages. Um, you see robotics being used for sustainability, shortened supply chains. So there's so many drivers nowadays for robotics. Now, ABB, we did invest in this facility, as you know, a revamp of our facility, and it was really to provide more I'd say more content uh, and, and more value to mm -hmm. our customers and our partners. So we took the investment and we leveraged it across the facility. We expanded our production capacity by 50%, yeah. doubled the amount of training that we could do here locally. Of course, built this world-class customer experience center to showcase our mm -hmm. technology and our capabilities. Um, we modernized our offices to attract and retain the best talent in the industry. So it was really something that, that we looked at holistically and how can we bring more value to our customers? And of course, as robots are, uh, robotics and automation and all the technology around that is developing, yeah. we wanted to be at the, we wanted to continue to maintain our leadership position and be at the forefront of that. And I think that's a great segue going into this next topic, right? When we look at the innovation that's happening in robotics, I would say the robot is becoming a vessel for yeah. so much new technology. We hear Absolutely. more about AI and digital simulation and this low code, no code solutions that are being integrated in robotics. And it was great. Touring last year in 2024, I was able to talk to so many different ABB partners that were creating value added solutions to make robotics easier to deploy, to make it easier to maintain. Where do you see this new technology making robots simpler and to, to use, and what are those technologies? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned AI. I mean, everyone's talking AI, and it's a, a huge driver for robotics because now we're able to automate applications that we were never able to do. AI's not only increased the areas that can use robots and automation by increasing, um, let's call it smart robotics, and the ability for robots to adapt yeah. to changing environments. Um, and I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, one example is our organically developed item pick sensing where our robot can pick a part out of a bin and learn, okay, what is the best way to pick that? Yeah. And what is the, the most productive way to move it? 
Um, another great example is how we've integrated AI with our vision technology and our AMRs. And so we're using AI and vSLAM in our AMRs to map, uh, map locations, dynamic mapping of locations yeah. in a point cloud environment to where it can recognize and adapt to changes um, in, that, in that map and uh, a, a essentially um, deploy or make adjustments to continue operations, yeah. making those changes. So we're seeing AI used across a lot of different applications and it's bringing a lot more value to automation in general, where it's making robots easier to deploy, but also deployable in applications and segments that we were never able to use robotics yeah. in before. And I think of it, what I used to learn as a kid, we were taught, we were taught, hey, this is how you do research, right? You have to memorize these type of processes. But I think with technology now, it's 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 almost less about memorization, but more about learning what are the right, the, what are the correct questions to ask. Absolutely. And it, like you know, we, we see ChatGPT now, where you know my kids are seven and four, but eventually they're going to go to school and they're going to be asked to write an essay. They're going to be asked to write a paper. It's no longer assigning them to say, hey, go check out these five books to learn about it, the, the next workforce is gonna learn about how do you best leverage the tools and resources and technology to make your job easier. I think that's gonna be what robotics Absolutely. is going to in the future, where it's not necessarily about, okay, I need you to learn the ins and outs of a teach pendant. To do that, you're, there's gonna be more value to say, okay, I need you to understand how can this robot work with this end of arm tooling that works with this software that can deploy robots at scale in a completely unknown environment. It, ab absolutely right, and, and a huge trend that we've seen is, is ease of integration for yeah. robots, right? It used to be, geez, 10, 20 years ago, you need an army of engineers to deploy robots into your operations. Yeah. Well, nowadays, with uh, the, the development of cobots and some of the easy programming methods, like lead through, yeah. or we have, for us, it's, uh, we have some uh, programming wizard blocks that's all block style programming, where that ease of integration for robotics has became uh, a lot less, uh, it's, it's less of a barrier to entry. And we've seen, of course, the trend over the last 10 years have been all the new entries to the market that now can take huge advantage of automation to be more competitive, where before they didn't have the technical competence on site for them to be able to use and deploy automation where it would add value mm -hmm. to their business operations. Yeah. So, I think there's been huge advancements in, in ease of integration, ease of use, and ease of maintenance that have really propelled a lot of new entries into the market over the last 10 years. So we look at the next 10 years. What, yeah. what excites you the most personally? You know, we, we, we looked from an ADB robotics perspective, but sitting in John's shoes, what does John just get geeked? There, there's a nerd in all of us. Oh yeah. What, what, what do we get us geeked and excited about what robotics could look like? Yeah, I, I think you know the technology and, and the advancements that we're seeing with the technology uh, of how easy robots are becoming to deploy mm -hmm. and use in operations. And also, I mean, you see out there that the humanoid robots. Yeah. Um, you know, technology is advancing so fast where it's it's medium and small size enterprises are now able to take advantage of some of the things that only these large corporations with a, a, you know, an army of engineers used to be able to do. Yeah. So I think what, what gets me excited is just the adoption rate of robots that we've seen, and that's gonna continue yeah. and that's gonna accelerate. Yeah. So more, more companies are gonna be adopting robots in different segments than we've seen before, such as healthcare and life sciences, mm -hmm. Um, now we're seeing a lot of automation within the material movement logistics space from a distribution yeah. standpoint. So all those unstructured applications that were very difficult to do because they weren't repetitive are able to be automated now. Mm -hmm. And that trend is just accelerating. So in the future, I think there's going to be robots and automation in a variety of uh, different segments and applications that we're not even looking at today or we're not even thinking about today. Yeah. So that to me is the, the most exciting thing. I love that, I love that. For me, it's like, 
we walk into your lobby and we're welcomed and right next to it, you have a Yumi robot that can serve that you can coffee. That can make, you, yeah, you, make know, you a cup of coffee. And, mm -hmm. and for me, it's the fact is we're bringing robots closer to everyday people, right? Yeah. And, and, and so for the engineers and the manufacturers and the maintenance people that grew up with robotics, learned about robotics, it, it's almost become, I don't want to say numb or dull to them because robots has become so much more simplified, they're not blown away from it. But when I go and I take this video and I show my seven-year-old daughter and say, hey, this robot served me a drink this morning, yeah. that's the reaction that a lot of the general public is gonna have about robotics in the future, where all of a sudden, you don't need to go onto a factory floor to see robots in action. Robots are serving you in so many ways personally, and that's where we're gonna go. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're gonna continue to see them more in the mainstream. Uh, and in service environments, like you had said, you, you, me serving a cup of coffee, I think a lot of those applications are doable today. Yeah. And we're gonna start to see those deployed in a way where one, uh, they add value to your everyday life, but, but, but two, it, it will fill a need for maybe a critical labor shortage yeah. or a job that, that someone, um, it, you know, doesn't, not the right environment, a dull, dirty, a dangerous environment, but it will fill a need for, for a vacancy out there in the, in the market today that, that we, we, don't, we don't see. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's really exciting to see those type of applications and to see the advancement in technology to meet those, those application yeah. demands. I mean, that's, that's it's awesome. Yeah, and, and you know, in order to integrate that technology, we need a workforce to do so. And yes. I was giving an amazing, getting an amazing tour today by Christelle, um, walking through everything like that. And, and so she, she is so passionate about workforce. I was saying, what do you love most about your job? And she says, seeing the kids get a smile on their face when they interact with the robot. You know, so when we look at workforce and training the future workforce, what's ABB doing for that? Oh yeah, I mean that's that's a huge priority of ours is to is to train the workforce here. A part of the investment in this in this building was to expand our training capacity. So we were able to double the training capacity mm -hmm. that we could put through this this building. Um, but also, I mean, it, it's critical that we're not only doing training in Detroit, but yeah. we're doing training throughout the country, and and we're developing that training for the needs, the curriculum for the needs. Uh, of that geographic area. So we partner, as Christelle, I'm sure, took you through, we partner with uh, high schools, uh, trade schools, universities, um, even customers to develop training centers throughout the country where one, we, we wanna make it convenient, but, but two, it's important that, you know, when you look at the robotics development in general from a, an overall industry standpoint, um, we need competent people that know how to apply the robot in the right situation. And, and someone can get trained without a degree. They don't need to, to have a technology degree or an engineering degree. Um, they just need the ambition. Yeah. And if you have the ambition, uh, robots are at a point now where someone be, can become very familiar with the technology, how to apply them, when to apply them, and really make a, a great career uh, out of robotics and automation. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not as it, you know, it, it's not a situation where there's a lot of barriers to enter anymore from a technical standpoint. Mm -hmm. So um, someone that's interested in robotics, uh, interested in automation, I would fully encourage them to, to go take advantage of some of the training courses that either we offer here or are offered throughout the country that will get them familiar yeah. with, with robotics. Because I think it's a great career and a great opportunity for, for people to contribute to manufacturing in the US and, and, and uh, really drive the US forward from an overall uh, manufacturing and uh, automation standpoint. Awesome, well John, I really appreciate your time today. Jake, always. It's, yeah, it's, it's such a pleasure you. talking with you. Of course, Thank if you. you want more information, we're gonna have some more links below of all the interviews that we had here touring the ABB facility here in Michigan. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.